Hello everyone, please welcome and join me in Stubbs Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you most delicious and very easy to make recipe. It will be hot and spicy chili chicken drumstick. And it's very easy to make and it's very delicious. I'm going to use chicken drumstick. It's a five and a half pound. These are fresh, has a skin on. I'm going to remove the skin. One of the things in a journal I'm going to talk, I do ask many questions in regard to the chicken. When I make a chicken or I make other stuff, I don't wash them. So it's pretty debatable. Just to give you a little background, in USA, the meat or any chicken or poultry, chicken or beef or pork or fish, they are very clean when they are packaged, they clean them. Basically, you take it out from the tray and it goes directly to your pan. You really don't need to wash it. But in other countries, it's really very important when you get the meat, you wash them prior to cooking it. But over here, it's not recommended. I'm going to post the link under my description. Please check it out. What is the reason that why it's good idea not to wash it. So if you found this helpful, please share this with other people who have a questions or concern. Is the meat is important to wash it before cooking? This is the only part I'm talking about the US. And now I'm going to remove the skin. I'm going to make a couple cuts in each drumstick. And I'm going to share some spices with you as I go along with it. Basically, the first thing I'm going to do, I grab a chicken and take the skin off. So I'm just gonna make a one cut on one side, the second cut. So two cut is good enough. I'm going to place it into my pot and I'm going to finish doing that. I have a five and a half pound chicken drumstick. I'm going to use one bulb of garlic and one tablespoon ginger. And this is a hot chili. And I'm using four of these. I'm using a two large onion and I cut into small pieces. You can use any color, I use the red color. And my secret ingredient. It's a potato. You can use a raw potato. That is perfectly fine. Or you can use a boiled potato. That's going to bring a texture to our gravy. As for spices, I'm going to use for my spice rack. And I'm going to use a two cup of water. And we're going to use olive oil for our tadka. And you can use any vegetable oil. And let's start tadka. I'm going to start my gas. I'm going to bring olive oil. Quarter cup of olive oil. I'm going to bring one teaspoon cumin seed. Bring ginger, garlic. We're going to cook them like 20-30 seconds. And this is perfect. Now I'll bring the onion and mix it well. So we are going to cook our onion really well until they get transparent and this will take uh, four to five minutes. So keep stirring occasionally so they don't get burned. Cooking our onion exactly three minutes. And now I'm going to bring the green chili. And we're going to mix it well. And now we're going to cook an additional two minutes. So as I said, within five minutes, our onion will be translucent. When we cooking our Indian food, Everyone is used to cooking onion first, then adding garlic or ginger or green chili, whatever the procedure they do. And we call it authentic Indian style cooking. But I always do it oppositely. And that part I wanted to share with you. If you are getting a heartburn, 
some reason by eating Indian food you're getting a heart burn. Please try easy steps cooking method. You add cumin, just 10 to 15 seconds, then you add garlic, ginger at the same time. You just give them 20, 30 seconds, not too much. You want it to take that garlic flavor away. 20 to 30 seconds is good enough. If you let it sit a little longer, then they will get burned. And then add onion. When we add onion, so that cooks along with it, with the onion. And please try it, this method, and you're never going to complain heartburn after eating Indian food. And our onion is exactly five minutes now. And if I can show you, it's a transparent. The onions are translucent, and now I'm going to bring the spices. And when we're going to add the spices, I'm going to bring my gas to medium. One teaspoon salt to taste. Half teaspoon turmeric powder. Since I'm making it hot, it's one teaspoon red chili powder. One teaspoon grinder powder. One teaspoon Cuban powder. One teaspoon curry powder. Since we have so much chili, I'm not going to add black pepper. And now we're going to cook our masala, our turka, along with all the dry masalas. Now I'm going to bring my gas high again and we'll cook it for an additional one minute. So I'll bring the chicken, all the drumsticks, And we're going to give them good mix. So mix it with turka. So I'll get my magic spoon. Basically getting two spoons and tossing chicken and turka over. And you make sure that all the turka is fully nicely incorporated with our chicken. And now with a high gas, Keep turning chicken drumsticks over and we're going to cook it for five minutes. Cooking over chicken drumsticks on a high gas for five minutes. I've been keep turning so it won't get burned. And chicken drumstick looking real nice. And now I'm going to bring two cup of water. And please use the hot water. Mix it well. Once it's nicely combined, I'm going to cover with the lid and I'll bring the gas to medium. And we'll cook it for 10 minutes. Cooking our chicken drumstick on medium flame for 10 minutes. I'm going to open it. And we're going to mix it now well. The chicken has been cooked for exactly 15 minutes. Five minutes with the high gas, with our turka, and 10 minutes with adding water. Now I'm going to bring the gas on high. So this is how our chicken looking. It's looking really nice. And now I'm going to bring my secret ingredient, which is potato, and I'm going to grate it. And this is going to bring our curry a different level of sweetness, and the texture wise is going to look awesome. If you haven't tried it, please try it. And I'm using a large jumbo size potato. Before mixing, I'm going to bring garam masala. So one teaspoon. And now we're going to mix our secret ingredient. It's going to help the curry to be thickened and it's going to bring the taste. After mixing the potato and garam masala, I'm going to cover with the lid on a high gas. We're going to cook it for five minutes. We're cooking our chicken drumstick on a high gas for five minutes. I'm going to turn my fan high and I'm going to open it. And 
Now we're going to mix it. So mix it well. This is fenugreek leaves and uh, it called Kasuri Methi. I'm going to bring like one teaspoon. So this is small pieces but we're going to just rub it in our hand and we're going to make it nicely smooth powder. I'm going to use the dry mint and I'm just going to rub it in my hand also and I'm going to sprinkle that one out. This is strictly optional. It's organic tomato ketchup. I'm going to bring a couple tablespoons. If you haven't tried it, please try it. It will bring the taste. I'm going to mix it well. Our chicken is fully cooked. We added mint, kasuri methi, and the ketchup. To bring that flavor, that tasteful flavor, we're going to bring our gas to low, which is basically simmer. And we're going to cover with the lid and we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. So all the masala, when you're going to eat it, you're going to lick your fingers. It's going to be such a tasty and delicious. Cooking our chicken on simmer for 10 minutes. I'm going to turn my fan and I'm going to open the lid. Mmm, looking so good, so delicious. Let me close in. Hot and spicy chicken drumstick, they're all ready, and I'm going to dish out. This is delicious gravy. Oh. It's a finger licking. It's all ready. I'm going to share with you. Our hot and spicy chicken drumsticks are ready, and they are very delicious. Please try with the roti, chapati, fulka, prontha, naan, even bread. And best of all, they are suitable with the rice. I hope you like this dish. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. Easy steps. Thank you. Bye-bye.